much today. So today we're just going to be talking about, um, oh man, <laughs> sorry, um, I have my, um, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the Lakers surrounding, let's just get right into it. Today I have my uh, um, so from basketball forever, the website, um, the Lakers are the third team in the LeBron James is having 29 point eight points per game, but 8.4 rebounds or something like that. And, oh my gosh, let me see. This is, and, um, um, uh, 7 assists. The Lakers are 13 to you. Surprise, surprise. 20 and 25. Yay! And they lost like four or three of their last three of their last. Oh. Lakers. What are you doing? They're playing against the Grizzlies games. Okay, scores. Okay, so they have one. They have not been winning that much. Um, I can't check really, but, um, I'm sure that they've either lost three of their last four or four of their last five. I don't know which one, but I know that it's one of them. It could be both if it's four or five or whatever. Um, the LeBron James, but those numbers... You might be thinking that there is something going on. And it should be. And I'll tell you right off the bat, it is not Russell Westbrook's fault. They should not train with Russell Westbrook. And two first. Unless they're getting some crazy package. Now that's averaging 15.8 points per game, 6.6 rebounds per game, and 7 points on assists. Is that a guy you're actually going to trade? He scored 19 points on the game. Come on, man. Don't use your brains. The Bronze get scored 32. De'Aaron Fox obviously 31. But Harrison Barnes was a better than, had one more point than Russell Westbrook. And like Kevin Porter, um, pretty much put up 18 points. So they were winning. They had five points um better, so they by five points in other words. So now the thing I want to get into is I told you we're not trading with Russ, and if you're crazy and want to trade away LeBron James, then I'll call you really crazy. The guy who I think that they should trade away, Patrick Beverly. 5.9 points per game, 3.4 rebounds, and 2.5 assists. He had 3 points in 27 minutes. He didn't have a single point in 0 minutes. In 12 minutes. Obviously, he won't have a point in 0. He nearly had a higher Yeah, he's not a bad player on events. But, uh, come on, man, that's just too bad. You can't be doing that, Patrick. I mean, he is, this for the season, he shoots 33.9% from three. No, he shoots like 20% from three. What the heck? So, Patrick better than our trading one. Who else? It's not like they're going to get a big package for just Patrick Beverly. Number one, he's not a guy like Rudy Gobert, which would amp up a crowd. Number two, he's just not that good. So, who else? 
I don't want to say this. And I made a video on the Lakers that they're better than ever. That was when they were winning, actually. Um, by the way, there is some noise, some watering noise. Mm, yeah, if you hear that, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna hear that, but there is some noise, so just saying. So I'm just gonna tell you that. Um, and I don't want to say this, man, but Kendrick Nunn. I know this isn't gonna. Let's see what Nunn's stat is. And stats, let's see it. 6.6 points per game, 1.2 rebounds, and 0.9 assists. I mean, he's not bad. To be 100% honest, he's only getting 16 minutes in 12 points. Um, 24 minutes, he got 15 points. Four minute points on the end one. Yeah, I don't know what that. But he's been a very good and solid player. So they will get some value out of that. But not enough. He needed to win another, and I know I wouldn't want to do this. But I think that they have to win the first. Now, 2029, I'm not really saying that 2027 is the way. 2028, because that's in the middle. 2029 is way too late to do it, um, and 2027 is too early, 2028. So, I, but what will they get out of that? Well, I'll get you back when I do them. Actually, nah, no, man. <laughs> no, no. But what actually could they get back? Let's see a guy who I am thinking at first. Is that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so, um, let's see Kevin. Kevin. No, oh, let's see both of the garbage. Let's see how he is rocking. Let's see. Which stat? No, Bogdan, right? Is it Bogdan? I think it is. Bogdan. 15.7 rebounds and 2.9 assists for the Hawks. They might have to put in something else, like maybe a guy like. Who is that? Daniel Gabriel or Thomas Bryant to make this work. Or maybe get it so came for that for two first 2000 but they can't include that 2028 it will have to be 2027 2000 and then it doesn't make any profit or anything to any advantage to trade away both of them because obviously ross can get that value maybe have a little bit more better of a deal for bogdan bogdanovich what about Bojan? What in the world is Bojan? I've not really even... Bojan? Okay, yeah, they're not kidding you. <laughs> He's averaging 21 victory, whatever. What about Joe Ingles? Like, what is he doing? I don't know why I'm doing this and I'm... I usually don't do this, but let's see Joe! He's on a game time decision. Uh, they probably don't have to turn the first, or maybe not even Kendrick Nunn in this deal because he only averages four assists, 2.3 rebounds, and 2.8 points. I think I would see Joe Ingles, maybe even um, Kendrick Nunn, and needed. They can get him for like, let's say, Wenyo Gabriel. What's his stats? Let's see what Wenyo is. I haven't been really um, doing this. I know, Gabriel. I don't know why I'm doing this, but 
like why I'm just scrolling through everyone's stats. Oh man, why do I have to go into sites? Oh my gosh. NBA scores. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to go into ESPN and see it. 6.7. So they 4.1 rebounds and half an assist per game. I think that a deal for Virgil Ingles would be Daniel Gabriel. Um and maybe Patrick Beverly. I don't know. Maybe Patrick Beverly would I think that it will take um, Pat Bev and Daniel Gabriel, those two, Joe Ingles, maybe even to have a first or a second round pick there. Um, with that deal for Bogdan, um, I would obviously say those two a first rounder, and maybe even to and Daniel or Thomas Bryant, because they're getting a good, excuse me, package. But that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching the end and bye.